Hey everybody, unusual vlog, a little life hack or life tip if you will. Now, I've said it before that this generation has been exposed to so much information because of the interwebs, the internet. There's so much information out there that uh, I believe it's safe to say that this generation of uh, younger people is the most informed generation in history. And it stands to reason because of the access, the free flow and access of information. For people who uh, did not uh, exist or was not aware of uh, how things were before the internet, and more specifically, you have to give credit to Google. Google really made the information age possible with their search engine because prior to Google, when you went to a search engine, you dialed anything, you dialed in cakes or dogs, it always came up as pornography. So yeah, it uh, Google was a big game changer there. So they deserve their success. Anyway, back to this generation being probably the most aware generation. This is true, but that being said, um, having facts in your mind or being exposed to facts does not make you wise. It just makes you more aware. Now, the obvious danger is that there is a lot of uh, fake news out there. It's hard to discern what's accurate, what's not. The only way you can really discern that is to see whose predictions over time uh, have come to pass. So if you're listening to a group of people and they told you X, Y, and Z and they give you all the reasoning, but it didn't happen, then you have to question whether or not these people actually have any special knowledge. So one of the things you learn as you get older is to become more humble, to realize that uh, you do not have all the answers. A sure sign of youth or a classic trait of the young is arrogance. Uh, know, figuring that you know it all, that you figured it, out, it all out. You see it all the time. I was like that too when I was 18, 20, 25. I assumed, it, or I thought rather in many circumstances, but hey, I, I, these old people, they've been doing this for 20 years. What do they know? What do they know, right? Now, sometimes that is the case, but a lot of times it isn't. So uh, if you want to arm yourself, if you will, with uh, a good mindset, Number one, you want to uh, be skeptical of everything. And number two, you want to realize that you don't know everything and that experience does indeed play a major role. I've told this story before where I was in my ninth year of martial arts and uh, I was pulled aside by one of my teachers and he said to me, Steph, now, you've been doing martial arts a long time and you have a lot of intermediate skills and this style, that style, that style, that style. And the problem, he said, that I had was that I wasn't concentrating on a particular style so that I could really master my fundamentals. And he suggested to me that by mastering the fundamentals in one style, it would raise the game in all the styles, martial arts styles that I, was, uh, that I had been trained in. Now, at that time, I didn't quite understand what he was saying, but as I decided to take a bit of a leap of faith, to have faith in this particular teacher's point of view in his uh, teaching to me because he had been doing martial arts far longer than me and he was just much better than me at that time. So I figured this guy must know something. So I uh, decided to take his, his advice and indeed I studied those fundamentals and all of a sudden my game just went with a short period of time relatively speaking. And so that's an example of how when you are young, you may have a lot of facts, but you may not have the mental training or capacity or the wisdom, the experience, whatever term you want to use to really discern what the reality is on the ground. So yeah, try, my advice is A, be skeptical of everything you hear, try to cross-reference everything, and B, Learn that humility is not weakness. It's actually it's a sign of strength and uh, self-confidence to realize that I don't know everything and I may get things wrong. My perceptions of things might be wrong. And so I have to always keep an open mind to things. This will serve you, this mindset will serve you so well 
over the medium and long term. Trust me, being uh, humble and being willing to accept that you're wrong at times is such a big, such a big thing. It's a sign of real maturity. And uh, that's it for today's vlog. Bye-bye.